This is the only way I can show you my outfit. So I have my boots on that I polished and buffed yesterday with a nice pair of denims. And I have my fluffy white top, which is just gorgeous. And my beautiful coat, which is a nice lining, not too hot, because today I am heading out. And I have my bag, of course. This is my little backpack. The reason why I'm taking a backpack and, and my purse is because I need both my hands free today. So, what am I out to? Well, it just so happens that it is Lenny's birthday. Happy 60th. And love and blessings to both you and your gal, Shirley. I'm heading off. I have my headphones 100% sorted. They are noise cancelling, so they're very good to wear when I'm out and about. Cuts down on traffic noise, people on the bus, people on the train who think they all want to know about their personal affairs irrespective of what language they're speaking. I have my glasses, of course, because there's nothing worse than getting to where I'm going to and finding that I can't see the menu. Here in my pocket. Right. I have my lip balm. I have my house keys. Yes, there's only two. That's all I have. I have my gimbal because I want to be able to be able to do some things today. Not taking my tripod because some places don't allow a tripod, it's considered a weapon. Gimbal, not so bad. <clears throat> so I am packing my bag from over here where my things are and he's decided he's going to lie down. Yes, he's doing his sulky act. Why? Because he saw me go into the big wardrobe to get this. He knows I'm leaving him. Okay, my wallet that ended up in the drink the other day. Where did it end up? Ended up in the bottom of my bag where my black currant bottle didn't I had not screwed the lid on. So it's just dried out now and I'm all set to go with my cards. But the main card is my museum card. That's where I'm going today. Yay! And I'm not just going back to the museum that I went to a few weeks ago. Come on baby, give it up. Give it up. I'm going to the other museum. You'll know about that when I get there. Because there are a number of museums around. Now fortunately at the museums, I can recharge everything because I'm down to one battery pack so taking all my cords this will recharge my phone my battery pack and my headphones if they are needed come on darling lift your head let me get at the others thank you so one fully charged battery pack my phone is fully charged my headphones are fully charged, but I'm also taking along my just in case. So you never know. And there's nothing worse than getting out there and having to listen to everything that's going on just because your one set failed. This is one of four sets that I have. I mean, they get lost. So it's always good to have extras. That's my bag. I have tissue pack in there. I'm freshly showered. My nails are clean. I'm ready to go. He's not impressed. Are you darling? <laughs> Rex? 
baby. Where's my boy? <laughs> oh, he's a little sulky boy. Okay, it is still in the AM. I have a real busy day. I want to do this for Lenny and Shirley. I'm going to head off now. I'm going to take a bus and then a train and possibly a tram. I'll work it out when I get there. But I'll be doing a lot of walking, which is why I've got my boots on. My good boots. They're nice, soft, spongy soles. And then when I get back later on, I'm going to do a whoop through the house with the um, vacuum, the broom and the swiffer. And I have a new washing machine arriving this evening. My washing machine. I got it when I arrived here at this house and what happened? <clears throat> I put in one of the puppy blankets which is a full size king flat, double sided fleece. A lightweight one. I've put it through the washing machine many times before but it <clears throat> what happened was it turns out that I when I closed the door I closed it on that piece and the sensor didn't pick it up and of course as it went round and around it just pulled and pulled and then finally the drum when it was soaking wet the drum tried to turn it but it was tucked into the door and the entire rubber boot around the outside is just busted so I asked my son and he said he'll grab me one on his way back from work tonight and he'll take the other one away and set this one up. I don't know what one costs. I can't remember what the last one costs, what this one costs. Usually I get my son to do things like that. And um, Is it a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred? Two thousand? I don't know. Anyway, I still remember when my mother used to use the old, um, oh, what was it called? It was that, it's like a big round one and it had the, the rolling one and some of them were automatic but other ones you had to do the handle but she had the electric, the, the power one. Um, Gosh, I can't even think of the name. How bad is that? So, um, and then later after that, once he gets that done, I'm going out to dinner with my partner and then I'm over there for the night and the puppies are going with my son and then I'll be back in the morning to pick the puppies up so that he can go off to Mornington because he's off for the weekend with his partner. Hectic, really. I mean, I have the whole week all to myself doing absolutely zero but living life. And then I come to Friday and it's all on. Okay, I have to go. This one's for Lenny and Shirley. And we're off.